This is the Sony ZV-E10. And we're gonna be doing a detailed review on this camera as it's starting to populate in the vlogging community, especially with the new Mark II, but the Mark II is like triple the price, it's like double the price. But is it really the ultimate vlogging camera? Well, let's find out. First up, let's talk design. The ZV-10 has a sleek, compact design that's perfect for on-the-go shooting. It's lightweight, coming at just 333 grams, and it feels solid in the hand. The fully articulating screen is a game changer for vloggers, allowing you to easily frame your shots from any angle. Now let's get into the video and image quality. The ZV-E10 features a 24.2 megapixel APS-C sensor that delivers stunning 4K video with vibrant colors and great detail. Whether you're shooting in bright daylight or low light conditions, this camera handles it with ease. One of the standout features with the Sony ZV-E10 is the background defocus button. With just one click, you can instantly blur the background and make your subject pop. And for all of the product reviewers out there, the product showcase mode is a lifesaver. It quickly shifts focus to the item you're showing, making your content look super professional. Plus the fast autofocus ensures that you never miss a moment. Good audio is crucial to vloggers. The ZV-10 comes with a directional three capsule microphone that picks up your voice clearly and even in noisy environments. And if you want to take it up a notch, there's a 3.5 millimeter jack for attaching an external mic to it. I personally think that the built-in mic sounds a little bit like light and hollow, but that's purely up to you if you want to use the normal mic or some like external road video mic go or something like that. But also note that having an external mic can make this thing a little bit more chunky and less compact, um, which is one of its main features. This thing's really small and compact, look at this. Now, battery life is decent. It gives you about 80 minutes of continuous shooting. And when it comes to connectivity, the ZV-10 offers Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and USB-C options, making it easy to transfer your content or even use it as a high quality webcam. Now it's time for a vlogging test. All right, here's a quick vlog test on the Sony ZV-E10 with the regular um, 60 to 50 uh, millimeter kit lens and no microphone. This is an internal microphone, which I already had to listen to. It sounds like really light and like not that great. Still understand what you're saying, but you're definitely gonna want to go with like something like this, one of these road external mics. They just you just, they just sit on the top. You plug it in. There is a mic jack on this camera. Yes. So yeah. Um, we're gonna be doing a vlog test outside nature. And I have the image stabilization st set to standard, which really doesn't crop in like anything at all. So, um, yeah, let's see if we can see a little bit of stabilization, then just off. There is active, which crops in like a lot, which I don't really like. I get it stabilizes the footage by a lot, but I can just do an editing and like actually properly adjust it. Um, I would be going out to vlog with my Rode mic, but unfortunately, my Rode microphone is currently broken. Yes, this mic now is broke. It's not the cable. It's not the camera. I checked. I plugged in my wireless microphone with this cable. It works perfectly fine. And what's wrong with it? There's like a little clicky noise. It's like... I wish you a quick vlog test on the Sony ZV-E10. Also, it's a stabilization board. That's the main key for it. I need to go to the shops buy some stuff. Let's hear how the audio sounds. Can you hear all the police cars driving past and stuff? I forgot, I don't even need anything in our Japan that, eh? Position good? Quality good? Put this thing away. So, as some of you may know, my main camera is the Canon EOS 200D. I bought the Sony ZV-E10 as a new replacement camera, so let's determine if the Sony ZV-E10 is truly better than the Canon EOS 200D. So, we're gonna do a quick, like, video comparison type thing between the Sony ZV-E10 and the Canon 200D. So, this is the Sony purely just, like, kit and stuff. This is the Sony 16 to 50 millimeter kit lens, and this is about a sub $1,300 camera with the lens whole kit. And this is the Canon EOS 200D with the 18 by 55 millimeter lens. So that's why it may look more zoomed in compared to the Sony. But how does like the eyes, like how does the light, like how's, how does it just look? How's the autofocus? But how's the microphone sound? Canon, Sony. 
Canon Sony. So, is the Sony ZV-10 the ultimate vlogging camera? Let's break it down. Pros. Excellent video quality, compact and lightweight, great autofocus and vlogging features, and good audio options. Now the cons. No in-body stabilization and limited battery life, and no weather sealing. Overall, the Sony ZV-10 offers fantastic value for its price, especially for content creators. If you're looking to upgrade your vlogging or- Can you choose a 3D2 if you're looking to upgrade your vlogging or just general video setup, this might be the perfect camera for you. Anyways, thanks for watching. If you found this review helpful, please be sure to drop a like and subscribe so I make money. If you're considering on buying the Sony zb 10 or just have any other questions, let me know, drop them in the comments and then I'll most likely reply. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe and I'll see you guys later. Bye.